Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the visual header tool tip to provide a little instruction so your end users know how to really interact with your reports. Stay tuned. Okay, visual header two tips. How can they help provide instruction to my end users? Well, let me let me kind of set the the story of how this actually came about. I was out at the Power Platform Summit, Power Platform Summit, and I met lots of people out in Orlando, Florida, at this Power Platform at the Power Platform Summit. And I met this one guy, and he showed me what he did with the visual header two tips because he wanted to give his end users a more visual um, display of how to do something on his report, how to really interact with his report. In this particular case, it was drilled through. And I know there's lots of different indications already on the on these elements, but he said they just didn't, they wouldn't read them. And so he wanted to provide something more visual. Um, and I said, well, send me this email. I asked, first I asked him, hey, can I do a video? And he was like, absolutely, if you give me a shout out. And I'm like, of course I'll give you a shout out but he never sent me the email. So the only thing I know is his last name. His last name is Kirshner. Um, and I remember that because he was like, don't call me Kushner, call me Kirshner. So Kirshner, wherever you are in the world, um, if you watch this video, post something in the comments below so we can give you your, your proper credit for this video. But I'm, keep, I'm moving forward because I think the world needs to know about this video, all right? And so he used these, whoa, 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 whoa. instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do, let's head over to my laptop, all right. Let's let's say so on this report, right? On this map, I have drill through built in, and so by default, if you look at it, there's nothing that tells you to drill through. And uh, you know the end user, they're right, they're right, they're right. So um, what I would do is I would add a text box here, and I would type it in. I would say right click to drill through, just really simple. And I, I, I assume that that would be enough for my end users, right? Right click to drill, something like this. I would bold it, change colors and they still will come back. This is what he was telling me. They would still come back and go, hey, hey, how do I drill through again? It's just too much, right? Just too many things. There's another way um, recently added to um, the desktop is if you hover over an element that has drill through enabled, it tells you, hey, right click to drill through. And I was like, that surely was enough. He was like, nope, nope. I was like, okay, show me what you did. And so this is what he did, right? So the first thing he did was he used some tool. I use Camtasia to create a GIF right, a GIF, an animated GIF, um, and that's what he did. He said, first I created an animated GIF of the actual drill, so this, right? He created a GIF, and then what he did was he added a page, and we're gonna rename this page, we're gonna call it Map Drill Help, all right? So we're gonna call it that, and I'm gonna hide it, because we don't want anyone to really go to this page, right? Um, it's gonna be used for something else. And then you click on Format in the Visualization Pane, and you expand the Page Information Card, and you toggle on Tooltip, and then you expand the page size and you select tooltip from the page size. If your page size doesn't change to look like this, all you need to go is do is go to view, select page view and select actual size, all right? So then, um, this is where he was supposed to provide me with the instruction, but he didn't, but I figured it out. The first thing I did, and I wanna be honest with you guys, the first thing I did was after I created my GIF and got everything set up, um, I added the image, I added it as an image but it didn't work. And I was like, hmm, what do I do? Well, um, with a little, just a little thought, I went to the format option, went to page background, I added image, I added the image, added the exact same GIF here, and then set the transparency to zero and change normal to fit, and then bam, it's working. And I'm excited, I'm like, whoo, this is gonna be great. And so then I go back to my overview, the page where I wanna set my visual header tool tip up, um, and then I select that element, whichever element you wanna set it up on, and then I go to the uh, format option, and I locate, locate the visual header card and toggle it on, if it's not already on, um, and then expand it and scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're gonna see this option for visual header tool tip. Make sure it's turned on, all right? It's off by default. Make sure it's on. When you turn it on, you'll see the little question mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this card, and expand out the visual header tool tip card. Now in this card, you can add some text. So when they hover over the question mark, they'll see some text, but again, we know they're not gonna read it. So let's provide something that's more visual. And so I'm gonna choose map drill through help. So we'll choose it and go ahead and collapse it. Now I'll go back to the element and hover over the question mark. 
And then what you'll see is the little GIF appears and it provides them with a visual representation of what they should be doing. What? This is banana. So I was like, does this work in the service? He was like, let's see. So let's go over to the service. So I'm gonna open up my favorite web browser, go to that report. Let's see if this works, right? So once you have the report open in, in the service, you just hover over the exact same question mark and bam, the GIF works. So it just works in the desktop and the service. And now my report consumers have a really visual um, way to know what are the interactions on my elements. This is bananas. This is great. Thank you so much, Kirstner, for sharing this information with us. Um, if you guys got any questions, comments about this, you know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.